There are over 5,000 species of songbirds, and each has its own song. Like humans, young birds learn song early in life by imitating their parents. Most of the labs that study how the brain controls song learning use the zebra finch, because it's easy to take care of. But its song is pretty simple and repetitive. So our latest study made use of three different species. The zebra finch, which sounds like this. The long-tailed finch, which sounds like this. And the Bengalese finch, which sounds like this. So we played songs from several different species to a bird and found region of the brain that was specialized for perceiving the song of their own species. But we didn't know if this specialization was due to the bird's genetics or their early life experience. So we took eggs from one species and put them in the nest of another species. So those birds grew up and learned the song of an adoptive parent. When we looked at the brain activity in that specialized region, we found that cells responded more strongly to the songs of their adoptive species. And then we began to identify the types of sounds in the different songs that the neurons were specialized to respond to. By describing how the songbird brain changes when they learn, we hope to learn how the human brain controls language, such as why we can easily understand our native language but have difficulty perceiving sounds in a language we did not hear when young.